Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the study manual for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we're about to solve are the ones that you will find on page number 258. Please turn to it. Page number 258 and today's our lesson number 67. The last two problems is what we have to do. Problem number 18, the one dealing with the absolute value. Number 18. We are told that the absolute value of x plus 2 is equal to 5. Now, let's pretend that x plus 2, let's pretend that x plus 2 is y. So if someone tells us that the absolute value of y is 5, what do we know from that? If, if someone tells us, if someone tells us that the absolute value of y is 5, that tells us, that tells us that y is either negative 5, y is equal to either negative 5 or y is equal to positive 5. Those are the two possible scenarios. The exact same thing is going on here. This exact same thing is going on here. Instead of y, we have x plus 2. Pretend that x plus 2 is y. That's what it is. Exact same thing. So this tells us, this tells us that x plus 2, this tells us that x plus 2 is either is equal to negative 5 or, or x plus 2 is equal to positive 5. Those are the two possible scenarios. Let's solve for the x. Subtract 2 from both sides. We subtract 2 from both sides. This 2 is going to cancel out and we find that x is equal to negative 7. So that's one answer. In here, let's subtract again 2 from both sides. 2 cancels out again and x is equal to positive 5 and a negative 2 or positive 3. Two to the, those are the two possible answer choices. And if you put them back, you'll see that they will both make sense. If we put negative 7 in here, negative 7 negative 7 and a positive 2 will get a negative 5 and the absolute value of negative 5 is 5. Similarly if you put in 3 in there we get 3 plus 2 is 5 and the absolute value of 5 is 5. You see they both work here. So those are the two answer choices and this is how we said here the solution set is solution set consists of solution set consists of negative 7 and positive 3. That's all. Let's do one more. Let's do one more problem dealing with absolute value. Just to get some practice. And this problem that we're going to do is something that appeared on page number 108 as problem number 2.62 something that we did on day number 56 on day 56 let's do it again one more time just for the hell of it absolute value of x minus 3 we are told is equal to 5 I'm going to change the marker I don't like it it's too light again we're not going to show the intermediate step, the baby step, we're just going to realize that the absolute value of this quantity, whatever this quantity is, 5, that tells us that this quantity, that tells us that this quantity is either, either this quantity x minus 3 is equal to negative 5 or x minus 3 is equal to positive 5. And therefore the absolute value in both cases would be 5. We add 3 to both sides, same as before. 3 is going to cancel out and x is equal to negative 5 plus 2 is going to give us negative 2 and here we add 3 to both sides again and negative 3 is going to cancel out with positive 3 and we'll end up with x is equal to positive 8. One more time our solution set will consist of two values and the two values are negative 2 and positive 8. This is something, this, this problem that you see there is something that we did on, that we already did on day number 56. It appeared on page 108. Let's move on then. Let's do the very last one on the page so we can get this page out of the way. Number 19. Number 19. 
Number 19. In number 19 we are told that we have categorical data on different ethnicity. And to present the data in terms of percentage, we have to, we have to present the data in terms of percent totaling 100% obviously. The question is, which which tool did we use? Which which of these uh, tools that we use here, the line, the pie chart, the line graph, the histogram, or the scatter plot. And you have to understand the concept behind it. When you have a categorical data on different aspect of, uh, of something, for example here we have different ethnicity. So perhaps here what we're looking at is the total number of doctors in the US. Okay, listen, we're looking for total number of doctors. Since we're talking about total number of doctors in the US, or total number of nurses if you like, you're, become, you're going to become a nurse. So we're looking at total number of nurses in this in the, in the country, and of course, since we're talking about total, the total has to represent 100%. The total is 100%. And now we're going to break it up into different ethnicity. We're going to break it up into ethnicity. I'm just going to make it up. Do you understand? These are not real data. I'm just going to make it up. Different ethnicities. So here we go. Uh, let's make it a nice 25% here, and then, then this is 25%. I'm just going to make a half of that. So let's, this will represent 12 and a half percent, and then. This is 25%, and this is 20, 12 and a half percent. So that all together, all together, this plus this will represent 37 and a half percent. And let's say another 10% and 15%. So there we go. So I'm going to represent now. So this is again 25% and 12 and a half percent. So all of this represents 37%. And here we go. So here we are representing the total number of nurses, and of course it has to be 100% altogether total number of nurses based on, based on their ethnicity and uh, they're based on their ethnicities maybe these are white people, these are brown people, these are red people, these are pink people and these are, these are uh, I'm running out of colors here uh, these are we did the red, uh, I'm running out of uh, green, the green people, there you go so these are different ethnicities of people which in other words 25% of all the nurses in the country we're saying are white we're saying that uh, 12.5% of all, all, the, all the nurses in the countries are black, 37.5% of them are red, 10% of them are purple, and 15% of all the nurses in the country are green, based on different ethnicities. Do you understand? So obviously the tool that we're going to use here is the pie chart. Is the pie chart. This is called the pie chart. And their answer choice is A. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.